Hey, have you ever heard of this podcast called Chatting from the Word? No. What's it about? It's about Christianity and enlightenment. Period, queen. You tell them. Yeah. <laughs> Dipping. I'm living in this moment because of you, and I want to thank you and praise you Your grace and mercy grace and mercy have brought us through. Thank you, Jesus. 
have mercy. It is two o'clock and it's time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your brother, Brother Oscar York, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word and from the Word, and putting a snap in your Christian walk. Amen, amen, and amen. We are so glad, so glad, so glad, so glad to do it. And we hope you have your ears on today and listening to the program. You listen to Brother Oscar York here on Chatting from the Word. And we are so delighted to bring you this program at this time at the 2 o'clock hour. We are so glad to be with you on this wonderful, wonderful afternoon. And we hope all of you feel the same. We hope that you are glad that Brother Oscar is in the house. Amen, amen, and amen. So we just want to take you away for a little while, take you away from all the humdrum and all the bad news around the world and just put you into mind of Jesus Christ and allow the Lord to take your mind in a different direction from what the world is trying to take your mind. Let you relax and get all in the groove of listening to a fine a cappella music and, and, uh, uh, listening to a uh, nice lesson being taught. We are so delighted that you're with us. We really are. The Lord has blessed us all with another wonderful, wonderful day. It was just like the psalm that said, who psalm in Psalm 118.24, this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you on this fine uh, Fine afternoon, my friends, but I am going to rejoice. I am going to be glad that the Lord has uh, brought me so much, such a long, long way. And I don't know if you heard that song there, but it's just, it was playing. Let me uh, make some corrections here. I do apologize for that. Um, your brother here wasn't recognizing that uh, anything was playing. And uh, we just going to. Uh, we just want to uh, um, make sure that the show goes well today. Yes, we are. We we all know we are trying to do so much stuff here lately. Hold on for a second. Just get all right. We here. We here. We here. We are here. We are in the house. We just. Need a second or two to straighten some things up here. Um, no, okay. I think we have it. I think we kind of straighten that out. We, we're trying out a new system and we hope that uh, we are uh, coming on more clearer. And uh, I believe that makes for a better program for you uh, to listen to. I'm trying to listen to see if I hear some feedback and uh, I, I don't hear anything so I'll be ready to uh, get on with the program we are so delighted as I said that uh, you are with us on uh, this fine fine afternoon and again we hope that you have your ears on and that you're listening to your brother here brother Oscar York on the Spreaker platform from chatting from the word where we are chatting about the word and from the word and putting a snap in your Christian work We are, we are so glad to do it. We really are. We are so glad. So glad to do it today. Amen. And a amen. All right, all right, all right. We have a wonderful, wonderful day today here in Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> It's cloudy outside, but it's all right. You, you, you know what Oscar believe. But let me hear. Let me read the report first. It is uh, the, the better people says it is 68 degrees, cloudy, 90% chance 
um, uh, uh, per, uh, 90% participant precipitation on today <laughs> have to get it right humidity is 87% uh, dew point and 65 degrees and pressure is at 30 now be asking brother Oscar y'all you know what I always says it doesn't matter what's going on on the outside it can be cutting up cats it can be raining cats and dogs it can be 50 feet of snow at my door. But regardless, regardless of what's going on on the outside, if you have the Son of God on the inside, you have sunny days every day, 24-7, because you have the Son of God. Amen, amen, and amen. And we are so glad. We are so glad that you do. We are so glad that you're listening in on us here today at Chatting from the Word. But do me a favor. Do me just one favor, my listeners. Stick in here with Brother Oscar. Keep on listening to the program, and I can guarantee you with the Lord on my side, this program will get better and better and better as long as you have a Lord inside. And as long as you stick with Brother Oscar to uplift your day and to bring you joy, we, we are going to be all right. And I believe that to my heart, that we are going to be all right. Of course, today we have a beautiful, beautiful program for you today. We're going to, to, of course, do our prayer time, and we're going to play our prayer anthems with our prayer song by Regan's a cappella. And the song that's going to be after the prayer and before the message will be by Lynette Chapman, Dorian Paul Williams. And know what that is. Oh, my trials. We're going to play that, and uh, uh, that song will help us when we are going through. Uh, some tough times. I know. I know it hurt. It helps me, and uh, you know you can't. <laughs> uh, you get any better than that? It, it helps me to recognize that the Lord, regardless of what's going on in our lives, He's going to be there for us, and He's going to be on our side, and He's going to help us through those storms and those trials that uh, we are facing on a regular, regular basis. But we're so glad, glad again that you're with us and we hope that you're relaxed. Are you relaxed, my friends? And if you are, go have a couple of your favorite beverage, coffee, tea, milk, juice, so on, so pop, iced tea, hot tea, <laughs> a, a glass of uh, freshly squeezed orange juice or lemonade while you're relaxing and listening to Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're at home, recline your reclining chair or just have stretch out on your couch or on the floor while you're listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar uh, York. Now, if you're in the car driving to get to point A to point B, Keep your eyes on the road while you listen to your brother, brother Oscar at York. Now, if you're in the gym trying to get cup, pup, and all those good, beautiful things, put your earbuds on while you're exercising so that you can keep on listening to your brother here, brother Oscar York. And we'd be so glad, so glad that you do that. Amen, amen, amen. Where are we? Where am I, you all? We will be right back after these messages.
Amen, amen, and amen. I know that was a little different. Uh, if you heard it, that was birds chirping. And I thought that'd be much more relaxing after uh, a song like Sweet Hour Prayer. And this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for you, or get in from the Word, just email it to me. My email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com or you can message me your prayer requests on our messenger page or you can uh, put it on our Facebook page that's dedicated to the program Chatting from the Word hosted by Brother Oscar York right slash Oscar York Publishing dot com or you can put it in our on our web page at Oscar York Publishing uh, dot uh, com Amen and amen. Now you know what we do. We we pray for here. You know we for a long time been praying for the world itself with all that's going on in the world, especially since we are going to a a pandemic of the coronavirus. We're praying uh, that there's be a solution or a uh, answer to solve the problem. And it seems like. they're not finding yet, if you ask Brother Oscar. Uh, I'm not the expert, I must admit, but it doesn't seem like to me uh, that anything is being done, and if it is, it's very low-key. So we've been praying for that situation, too, for quite some time, because it's been almost a year. I believe this uh, December or January would be a whole, whole year since uh, uh, the world been going through that. And, of course, we've been Man. praying for uh, the, uh, the world itself and the things that is going on in the world. world. Hold on for a second. Yeah. That is going on in the world. I'm sorry about that. I had to say something. Uh, that's going on in the world. I'm real so delighted that... Uh, uh, that uh, that we here, we here. I'm so delighted about that. Okay, um, and of course we've been praying uh, for uh, those that have contracted this coronavirus. We've been praying uh, for the um, those that have uh, lost loved ones to this uh, uh, coronavirus, and been praying for the. Uh, those uh, that were slaughtered by the police and their families and the police itself. And uh, we're so thank we want to just thank God uh, uh, that uh, the Lord is watching over them and to uh, pray for the political leaders, the church, and for you all that are uh, listening to us at this time. But as always, we're so thankful that you are listening and we do apologize for all uh, the the uh, the uh, uh, the interruptions that we've been having today, and we we'll, we'll get it together. Just uh, stick with your brother here. But before we approach the throne of grace, I would love to read uh, Psalms, I believe Psalms uh, four, where the, uh, David writes, "Hear me when I call, O God, of my righteousness." Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayers. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing so I? But know that the Lord hath set upon him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stay in the hall and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still, so I. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who shall shew us any good? Lord, lift up lift thy, uh, the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than any the any the time that their corn and their wine increased, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thy Lord only maketh me dwell in safety. 
Amen. Amen. That was Psalms, the uh, fourth division. Will you pray with me, please? Father, we are in heaven. i be that name. Father, we thank you for this wonderful time, this wonderful day, Father, that you allow us to see you woke us up this morning. And you allow us to wait to, to wake up to uh, to feel a gentle breeze and to see a sunshine rise. Father, we are so thankful for that. Father, you have mightful blessed, mightfully blessed us on uh, this day. Father, we come thank you for your son Jesus who bled and died on Calvary's mountain that we to his unselfish act um, may have salvation. And we are so thankful. Uh, so thankful for that. Father, we come praying for those that have contracted this coronavirus. Father, we pray uh, that you heal that body, allow the doctors to medicine, to minister the right kind of medicine so that that body may be healed and one day they may be walking around and, and breathing and enjoying life once again. And Father, we come praying for those that have uh, uh, have a uh, those that have lost loved ones to this dreadful disease, Father, we pray that you be with them. Guide them. Put your arms of love around them so that they uh, may feel comfortable and rest their trust in you. And Father, we come praying for those who have lost uh, their loved ones to the hands of the police. Father, we pray uh, for their families. Father, we pray that they get solace at this time. We pray, Father, that you put your loving arms around them as well. And Father, now we pray for those for reasons who feel as though they must shoot first and ask questions later. Father, we uh, pray for them that they may find a better suitable way to deal with all the citizens. And Father, we come praying uh, for the political leaders, Father, we pray that they get it together, make the right decision so that we may live in peace and harmony. And Father, we come praying for the church, Father, after all the I's and dotted and T's and cross, help us to remain the church. Help us to stand on the foundation of love, unity, and peace and the truth. Oh, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of them. Help them, Father, to uh, uh, help our listeners, Father, to hang in there with you. Keep their hands in you regardless of what Satan may uh, do at them, Father, because Satan is a strong adversary and we can't defeat him without you, Father. So help our listeners to defeat the Satan and hold on to your unchanging hands. And Father, we come praying for the program today, chanting from the Word, Father. Help us to get the program together so that we uh, may spread the news the good news of Jesus Christ, so that we may be a light in each community that we are heard in, so that we may uplift the Christian walk and help them to walk with a snap in a beautiful, beautiful way. And Father, we come praying for the program, chatting from the Word. Father, we come praying that we may uh, uh, say something today with the message, and that we may uh, open the eyes of, of those uh, that need their eyes open and help those that need to grow in you. And Father, we pray for those that we've been praying for for quite some time. Father, we pray that uh, you be with them, Father, through their uh, many problems they are going through. And Father, we pray that you be with your sons here. Father, help me to get back on my feet and to uh, do well. In Jesus' name, uh, do we pray. Amen and amen. All right, all right, all right. We are so glad that you have prayed with us on that prayer. And we hope that we prayed for something that was on uh, your uh, mind. So we hope that we've done that. We hope that uh, whatever that's bothering you, uh, that you let the Lord take care of it. Because he will truly, truly do that. All right, all right, all right. We hope that you still have your ears on. We hope that you listen to your brother here, Brother Oscar York, on the speaker platform where we're chatting about the Word and from the Word and putting a snap in your Christian walk.
Amen, amen, amen. And we are so glad, so glad to do it. We are so glad to do it. Where am I, you are? Where are we? We will be right back after these messages. Amen, amen, amen. We are back, we're back, and we're glad to be back, and we're glad to be with you on this fine, fine afternoon, and we're glad to bring you this program at this time. But this is the time that we do ask for donations or sponsorship. And if you're able to do either, we'd be happy that you do that because everything costs today and this program costs. So if you can help Brian Oscar out to do that, I would be just, just marvelous. And here's my sister Wanda to let you in on all the details. Thank you, sis. Thank you very much for uh, that fine job. She's always doing a good job in detailing uh, how to send you money. She said, we hope that you heard her. She said, first, go to PayPal. Pull up my web page, my web under my, <laughs> excuse me, email address, which is lowercase, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com. Then go to chase.com. And and Isaiah's account, and put in the email address oscaryork three four four three at gmail dot com, and in both in 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 both of the accounts, uh, you can put in any amount you uh, desire, so that we here can put on a high fine program. You see the problems that brother's having, uh, or with this program. You know, on Saturday night, we we. Um, we were playing one song, and, and the new system, which is costing us, it, it costs to, uh, so that we can uh, put on a better uh, uh, program. We don't know how this program is going to turn out neither. So I uh, just pray that uh, we can uh, put on a fine program so that you may be uplifted. So, but Saturday night, let me finish this story. <laughs> <laughs> on Saturday night, we had problems bringing the program, and, and I don't know if some of you all heard one song, and then all of a sudden, it cut off. And uh, Brother Oscar wants to apologize for that. We just, uh, as I've said many times before, we will have mishap like those to uh, uh, to come along sometimes, and it will sometimes get you down, and sometimes you may feel a little defeated and I did but I just said the Lord knows what's best he's in our corner as long as we being obedient to him and doing it his way amen amen we hope that you're listening and we know you are we hope that you have your ears on and we know you are and if you are listening share the news about the gospel of Jesus Christ let the world know that we are on and we are spreading the news. And I know you listen. Let, let, let the uh, Kenya folks know about telling from the word. Spread it on your Facebook page. Let the Facebook people know that we are one. Share it with them. All your Instagram people, share it with them. All your LinkedIn people, share it with them. Let them know that we're on. But not only share the program, but love us too. Love us here. Like us. Let us know that you like us. Let us know the, 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 the job that we're doing, that you really appreciate it, and that you love us. But not only that, talk to us. We are part of our family here at Chatting from the Word. Subscribe to us. Follow us here on the um, Spreaker platform. And of course, 
on YouTube also. Follow us there as well. We need about a thousand uh, subscribers. I know we want to get it because I know you love your brother here. At least we hope you do. <laughs> we hope that you love Brother Oscar. Brother Oscar is just trying to bring a little joy in your world at this afternoon hour. Amen. And uh, a Amen. I'm trying to remember everything that I I uh, wanted to uh, say to you. Amen. Amen. Of course, you have your ears on. If you have your ears on, you know we're selling T-shirts. Uh, we're selling T-shirts with the same slogan on it. Do you have your ears on? We ask that question, do you have your ears on? Are you listening? Are you aware of what's around you, all around you? And then on the back of it, we says, yeah, do you have your ears on? Listen to chatting from the word. And we have it, the t-shirts. Uh, you can order one, two or three. And if you uh, send an email, put your size down. Uh, how many you want and then uh, put the monies into the either account that we talked about Chase or either at, at, at uh, PayPal and the price of the shirt is $35 alright and of course you can call uh, my son Oscar I forgot the number and I got to Look at it, look it up, but <laughs> we'll let you know the number probably on tomorrow. So if you're interested in buying a t-shirt to support the program, uh, you'll be, we'll be happy that you will also uh, do that. And if you ever want to talk with your brother, I'm not untouchable. You can send me a, a text to my email address or send it on Facebook or email to the messenger or either on LinkedIn. LinkedIn many have and I appreciate the many messages that I am receiving and the uplifting that I am receiving and I am so glad that you are uh, 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 helping me feel better at times when I'm down. Uh, when I'm down. Uh, those messages do bring a uh, little joy in my life. Uh, or you can uh, get in contact with me on our Facebook page, which is Chatting from the Word, uh, hosted by Brother Oscar slash Oscar, your publishing.com. Or you can send a message to our webpage. Our webpage address is, again, it's Oscar York, uh, publishing, uh, dot com. But why are you on our webpage? Why are you on the webpage? We do have a bookstore. The brother here has authored two books. My first book, which is A Peaceful Place in the Storms, God is in Control, which sells for $21.50, and Bridges of Fresh Ships, which also sells for $21.50, and if you want to purchase both books, both books are $43. Do the math. $21.50 plus $21.50 equals uh, $43. No, so we hope that you do that because proceed you will go towards supporting this fine program that we are putting more money through uh, Fridays and Saturdays at 7. Again, we're so delighted that you're with us today and we're so delighted to bring you uh, this fine, fine program. So you know what we say about reading. You know what we say about reading. And we say it every day on the air. When you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power. Yes, it does. It comes power. So, visit OscarPublishing.com and order you a book and read. Amen. And amen. Now, for the, our internet networks that we come on is VLC, Rob, Joyce Saran, Cromwell Group, Bullhorn, Alexa, Media Player, PowerPlayer.net, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Park Chaser, Visa, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic, Android App, Media, 
Facebook.com, Spotify, Google Podcast, Castbox, Podcast Addicts, Breaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you need a direct link, visit your Google Play App Store and download Spreaker Podcast App. And once you have us downloaded, look us up, chatting from the word, hosted by Brother Oscar. And once you find us, put us in your favorite so that when 2 o'clock comes, Monday through Fridays and Saturdays and seven, you be tuning in to us and ready to hear a wonderful a wonderful uh, program. Amen. And a man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Yes, my brothers and my sisters. Amen. Amen. And now, for the only song selection that we're going to play for your hearing today would be Ronette Chapman and William. Paul Williams, all of my trials, and here we go.
Amen, amen. I really enjoy that. <laughs> I really, they really get off into it because they sing in a troop. When we're going through some trials and tribulations, Jesus, we can cry to him. Let him know what we're going through and he will be right beside us. 
Amen and amen. We hope that you still have years home. We hope that you're listening to us here at Teddy from the Word. And we will be right back with the message after these messages. Amen, amen, amen. We are back, we are back, and we hope that you are happy that we are back. And I hope, we hope, we hope that you're ready to receive the message. And of course, the message is the mind of the Lord. The mind of the Lord. You know, something to think about. Because none of us knows the mind of the Lord. Now, when we study God's Word, we know a portion of His mind. But to know the Lord's mind, to just to know the Lord's mind, that is incredible, my friends. And none of us will ever be on the same level as, he, as God is. Because God been here and we'll be here through all eternity. Just imagine some uh, uh, God been here. <laughs> and that was we we never been here. We had a, a birth date and we were born. And we got a day that we're going to close our eyes and wait for judgment day. But to get in the mind of God. There has to be something. But it's through his word. It's through his word that we get a chance to know a portion of it. Especially when it comes to us, his people, and how he deals with us. And and what he needs to know for us to be closer with him and to one day be able to go to heaven to spend eternity uh, with him. It's just a beautiful thing just to know that if we rest everything in Jesus' hands and be obedient to Him, one day, one day we'll be able to go to glory with Him and get to know the Lord. Amen. I don't know about you, my friend, but I can't wait till that time comes. Amen. But what we want to do in this in this study today, we want to begin at uh, Romans 11, just to open it up to you, just to see the direction we're heading now. Uh, in verse 27, he said, For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. And what we're doing with this study now, we're going back to see what is detailed in the covenant, because many of us, we, we really don't uh, study the Bible well enough to really to know. And some of us, to, to be fact with you, we are taking uh, people word for what it is. But it's just a beautiful thing just to know for ourselves what the covenant and, and what uh, the, the, the covenant is all about. We know that, that there's an old, there were two covenants. And, and another word for covenant is agreement. And another word for agreement is testament. And we know what's two testaments. It's the Old Testament and the New Testament. And many of us don't much understand the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament, which is an agreement that we have with Jesus Christ when we became saved. Many of us don't understand that. Many, many, many good men just don't care. I, I don't know. But we have, and we're going to be saved. We've got to know Jesus Christ. And it's through his word that we get to know him. And through the Old Testament, it's better in the New Testament because it's the New Testament that our Lord Jesus Christ died for. He entered into the holies of holies. He broke down the middle wall petition. And he opened it up for us so that we may have salvation. And Hebrews 9, and we just want to go where we finish off reading uh, and studying on the last time. And here, that began at, uh, I'm sorry, verse 9 of 
Hebrews 9. And the Hebrew writer said, which was a figure for the time being present in which were offered no gifts and sacrifices that could not take him that did the sacrifice, make him that did the sacrifice perfect as pertaining to the conscience. But here, what the figure was, and you know what the figure was, was the Old Testament, the things they did, the sacrifices they made, uh, uh, the, the, the rituals that they had. And even at that time, Lord was still teaching during this time here that Christ, after Christ died on the cross and brought in the way of salvation, which is in the, his body, Christ's body, many still was confused about the New Testament or the New Agreement. And many today are still confused about the New Testament and the New Way. We used to say in the, in the, in the body of Christ, that the Old Testament is the New Testament concealed, while the New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. And that is so true. See, what went on through the Old Testament was leading up to the time of Reformation, the time of change. And we're going to get off into that too, the time of Reformation. But in verse 9, he said, which was a figure for the time, the pressure in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect, as pertaining to the conscience. See, back then, they, they couldn't, whatever they did did not make them complete. And the Lord did not make them complete because they did it from a worldly sense of things. So that conscience, so that conscience may feel good. Sometimes we do things today to, to make our conscience feel all right. Our conscience may feel all right, but that doesn't make it right. Am I right? We may soothe a inner man in us when it comes to certain things, but that doesn't make it all right. What makes it all right is being obedient in Jesus Christ. And in verse 10 he says, Which stood only in meats and drinks and divers washings come ordinances imposed on them until the time of reformation. Oh, many may look at many may be looking at the word reformation as a big word. That's not a big word. Reformation says a time until the time of reformation. It means a change is coming. It means a change is about to occur. It means that these things didn't really to be reformed and changed. And when Jesus came and died on that cross, it was. Reformation time and things have changed. You were not saved anymore by going by the Old Testament. When he died on the cross, he opened a way for all of us to be connected to him and back to the Father. And let this be your will. If you have a desire to be in Jesus Christ, if you have a desire uh, to be saved, why not do it today? Do it today. You heard his word. Do you believe it? And if you believe it, well, Jesus tells us now is to repent. And if you repent, Jesus now is saying confess. And if you confess, Jesus now wants us to be baptized, washing away our sins, connecting us back to the to His blood, where we are covered, where we are covered, where our sins are covered. Where we have forgiveness, where we have an open avenue with the Father. And if that be your will, if that be your will, visit a local church of Christ in your area. Amen and amen. We're very enjoying this program. I really enjoy bringing you this, uh, this lesson uh, the mind of the Lord. Who can know the mind of the Lord? Every person who was his counselor, he don't need no counselor. Because the Lord is the Lord. He's been here, been here, and always will be here. And that's something hard for us to remember. We're going to get on out of here. We're so glad to bring this hour of uh, reformation. <laughs> that is our relaxation to you, our to.
uh, be in Jesus Christ and to love him and to learn a portion of his word. We must say our goodbyes, okay? And as always, it was nice chatting with you today. It really was. We pray with you, please. Our Father, we're talking to heaven, and I'll be that name. Thy kingdom has come. Father, we thank you for this time that we have to spend with all of our listeners. We thank you for the message. The mind of the Lord. Father, help us to be in your Son. Help us to be in you, Father. Help us to have your mind and your love as you loved us. And Father, now may the grace of God and sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest you and ride with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. And amen. And as always, it was nice chatting with you today from chatting from the word. Be good and love every body. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Great.